It's story time! Hello and welcome to the Storytime Podcast. And if you don't know him already, this is John Sharpson. Hello! You might recognise his face from the YouTube channel Facts. Um, you could also recognise his face from the YouTube channel Sharoof. Highly unlikely, but maybe you have. The children's <laughs> YouTube channel. Like, he could say children's TV YouTube channel, which doesn't make yeah. sense. So the children's YouTube channel. Um, I was on an episode, I set a Sharoof record, like, not to brag, but whatever. She and kind of, kind of. <laughs> and there'll be a link down in the description in the show notes on SoundCloud to that episode. Please go check them out and give them a subscribe. Um, it's just two Irish guys doing it for themselves and One trying Irish to entertain the kiddies. Now, when we say it's, it's for kids, it's... Not a cracker for kids, but we just keep it clean so that parents can enjoy it, hopefully, and know that they can watch it with their kids without anything bad happening. A lot of kids' cartoons are like that, though. They're very, like, they're uh, adults can watch them and, and like you know. A little, a little bit of innuendo yeah, in few, there. Yeah, a few, few jokes in the adults for the adults that kids won't get. Can I just say, I'm loving these. They're awesome. Yeah. So, for those of you listening um, and not watching, we have an amazing new setup. Rick Clements, one of my patrons, sent me this amazing story time banner thing it's awesome canvas for the background and these pillows that have the story time S on them so we're looking pretty slick here today now and they put an S on the pillow because they knew the chart and me was going to be the first person to hear when they did that like Rick how did you know man didn't it it's pretty your first name doesn't also begin with S and then we'd have two yeah well well kind of everything so John has how many brothers do you have three brothers oh is there anywhere else before we get into it that you want to shout out for people to follow you online Um. Your Twitter or your Instagram or yeah, I'm on Twitter, but this is the problem. My problem, like I, n- I can never remember what my Twitter handle is. Like I, like, okay. I don't know. Like I'm mean, like yeah, it's at Sharpfish and it's not. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I I'm trying to think. I think either yours or Donald's is at Sharpie something that was zero zero nine. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll put all the links down in the description. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> you can just click them. Um, but you have how many brothers? Four. Three. Three, three, three brothers. brothers. Yeah, four. So there are three. So there are four total Sharpsons. Four total, five Sharpsons because my dad as well. Yeah, yeah, but sons, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, and actually, no, sorry, we will count your dad because th- you and Donal, your bro- Donal Sharpson's brother, you guys have been on Facts for years at this point, it must yeah. be. And Eamon recently joined the YouTube Facts channel. Yes, he did. I'm talking about the like Irish people taste test X uh, yeah. <laughs> YouTube channel. If you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's youtube.com forward slash facts. And Donal and John have been part of it for years, much longer than me. And Eamon recently longer. joined, and your dad was actually in a video too. So four out of five of the sharpsons have was. been in YouTube videos. That's right, Fax videos. Yeah, and my mum was technically in one as well because we rang her on Mother's Day, and we could hear her. Oh, yeah. was that? I don't think I see. Is that like? Did you prank her or what? No, we just it was uh, Irish people ring their mouths to tell them that they, that you loved them, right? <laughs> just to see what they'd say, and it was deadly because I I was like they were asking me what do you think she's gonna say? I was like she's gonna think something's wrong or that I've done something wrong or that I need money or something. And literally, I was just like, "Hi, mom," and she was like, "How are you?" I was like, Are "You work?" She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "It won't keep you long." Listen, I love you. And she was like, oh, God, what have you done? And I was like, I knew <laughs> you'd think like it was straight away. And I was just, it was nice stuff. It was cool. So, um, what was I going to say? Is your fifth brother, your fifth and final brother, is he any interest? In fact? In, yeah. I'd say he'd love to be in fact, but the only thing is he, he works full time because he's, he has a wife and a child. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, they're both working full time. So, he, he, like, he would love to be in fact, I'd say. And he's probably the most talented out of the four of us, I'd say. He, he's a writer. <laughs> um, so, didn't all the brothers recently appear in a recent episode of Sharoof? Yes, we did. We, um, I can't, like, I'm so unorganised, right? That I was like, oh, yeah, it's cool, we'll get a guest on. And then, like, no one was around me on that afternoon. So, luckily, all the boys were in the house, so I just said, she's want to come up. And then I do two old videos and stuff. And there's loads more, so I think we'll do a part two. But it was just, I was asking them questions like, who is the lightest sleeper? And they'd all have to write it down on the whiteboard and stuff. And then they showed up, and I was like, the answer is Eamon. And I show a clip of me waking yeah. him with an air horn and stuff like that. So I'm going to claim that this episode was inspired by that episode of Sharoof, but actually, this episode was your idea. But <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to share some Sharpson stories. That episode was absolutely brilliant, was where, um, so it was an episode of Sharoof where you had the clips of the lads and they had to guess what who did what and then 9 out of 10 times it was like Donald doing something <laughs> <It's just laughs> Donald. and there was some amazing video footage of Donald it was from a kid it was so funny yeah. Um, so yeah I was hoping you might have some more sharps and stories to tell me the ones I can tell I will tell <laughs> I'll be killed when 
Um, like there's so many things like they're just the kind of stories you know sibling stories are the ones that you'd be lying in bed like and you just be able to drop off and someone will pop into your head and you just go <laughs> remember that do you know what I mean you just remember these gas stories like D- Donald more often than not it was Donald doing weird stuff like or Eamon Eamon just always got hurt he was just a kid that always got hurt so for clarification is Eamon the oldest so no, Neil is the oldest Neil and then yeah. Eamon no it goes Neil John Eamon Donald really yeah yeah, and I was talking to someone yesterday and they were shocked to hear that Donald's six years younger than me. Donald's six years younger than you? Yeah. I'm also shocked to hear that. Yeah. It's weird. I'm old. I thought you'd be like maybe two years older than him and I thought Eamon would be two years older than you. Yeah, no, Don't Eamon's why. two years younger than me. Jesus. And Don- he's four years older than, than Donald Dunn's the blabber. And then Neil, Neil was the... He, Neil's four years older than me but he was always very sensible like yeah. like I'd be doing stupid things like I'd have the camera or something and I'd be trying to get down to jump off a wall or something and Neil was just like you're an idiot and you're a bigger idiot I was like okay like he was never <laughs> yeah. he's just like why do we do that you're a tick like, <laughs> I can imagine you trying to get Donald to do stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> but Eamon like was always the one who he would have been probably more sensible than I was as well but he just always got hurt like he just like on his tricycle how how can a kid hurt themselves on a tricycle but he literally go outside and two seconds there he'd come in and just and he'd blow it everywhere and he's like oh my god like, he was just always that kid who got really hurt really quickly <laughs> and another time he just um, I can't remember what I was going to say you were telling That's me good. tell me the story about the thing you walked through you, you tell me just before we started you were telling me you walked through something in Phoenix yes. Park was it? G- like just mad stuff like this happened. we were walking the dog in the Phoenix Park and we were walking through this little forest and there was this big cloud of midges right and me being me like I was about 10 and it was just like get to them so I ran through these midges and I was like midges are flies for anybody who doesn't doesn't know what they are yeah. and we always call them midgets but you'd be like I, and I was running through hitting them like throwing my fist and all running straight to him so that was grand we were walking along and the next thing Don started going ah! and running and I was like what the hell's wrong with Don and then Amy started going ah! I was like and we looked down and we were literally walking through this beehive on, that was on the forest ground like on oh the floor oh my god it was horrible and then my dad was like John and I looked down at my uh, jumper and it, ha- it wasn't a cloud of midges it was a cloud of wasps and they were just all over my jumper and oh I was like my god. oh my god so I was just running along taking off my jumper swinging it around like a- like anyone driving by would like there's you know six <laughs> crazy people and a dog like running through but like one of them flew up Donald's leg stunned the crap out of him Eamon got like riddled all over his back and that- so we all hate bees and wasps since then like just like <laughs> There's one time um, my dog ate a bee and her face swelled. <laughs> my dog did that as well. And he just like, <laughs> and he just big whopper snout on him like, it's gas, isn't it? It is actually, yeah, once you get over the initial fear, like, it's very funny. We had to bring her to the vet and you had to give her something to take it down. Right. Um, because like, in case it would choke her and then, yeah. but after the initial ter- terror, once yeah. we got her home from the vet, it was just <laughs> so entertaining. It's she gas, yeah. She could have lived her head like she was kind of banging into stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no spatial awareness was actually very funny. It's deadly because they're like their eyes are closed because their face is all so <laughs> and they're like breathing through their nose and you're just like <sighs> and you just see the tail wagging as well. It's just like you are idiot. And they're just living life like their face isn't three times the size. They're trying to bring you the ball <laughs> exactly, and they can't yeah. really find where it is and then they, they drop it like so, away from you. Gosh. Very funny. Have you any siblings? I have one sibling, one, he is 11 years older than me and we never actually lived in the same house right. growing up. He lived with my dad and I lived with my mum, so I don't really have very many stories. Uh, we did, when I was like, used to stay in my dad's house for summer, we did used to beat each other up. Right. But he got in trouble because he was so much bigger I was than just going to say, I said it was very one side. I would get so angry, like, and I'd be, like, trying to actually kill him. Like, actually kill him. <laughs> and then uh, he'd be kind of just holding me off. Do you yeah. know what that would be, It's so frustrating, it's so isn't it, when you, can't, annoying, when you can't fight someone that you really want to fight. I think that's, like, half the reason I'm angry is just... <laughs> I used to get so mad I actually thought my head was going to explode and my yeah. dad used to be like okay you've got to stop like she's actually going <laughs> to lose you need to it. calm down like, <laughs> yeah we never got to that because Neil Neil would yeah you would actually Neil would wreck your head like and but I, like it was the usual saving thing where I'd annoy Neil Neil would annoy me more I'd like fling a shoe at him or something we were big into doing that like just loosening your shoe and launching it at someone and then 
while he was chasing after you clapped him in the face, he'd run into the bathroom screaming, like screaming at us down. Saying your house was mental. It was, ins- it, was, it was insane. And we used to do things like write hate notes to each other, right? Like, so if I was sent to my room and Aim was sent to his room for fighting or something like that, or even Donald, but I was a bit older at that stage, so it was kind of funny. But he was just like, Dear Eamon, because you'd obviously start a letter with Dear Eamon, <laughs> you'd be like, Dear Eamon, you are a fat pig. I hate you. <laughs> And you'd be sitting in your room and the next thing this letter would come through your door you'd be like hello what's this and you'd pick it up and be like Anna Aim was out of his room and he's like I'm not I'm here now and I'll listen to that and I'd be like just shut up I don't care and then one time he wrote one he put the paper on the wall and had a permanent marker like permanent marker dear John you are a smelly animal or something like that and took the paper away put it through my door right and it had it'd come through on the walls and, and he got in loads of trouble I was like ha 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 that's what you get so we had dear John you are a smelly animal on the wall for ages <laughs> that's awful man. yeah oh god yeah no I I never really had it but did, did you get any scars from your brothers because I, I have a couple of friends who have like lasting scars from fights one one friend took us like accidentally the scissors was aimed at a different sibling, but the scissors hit her in the face, and she's it's a very, you know it's a very luckily a very small scar, but she uh, has a small scar from it. And I know a couple of others who've picked up scars through the years from the. I, I have no visible scars, <laughs> but my mother <laughs> only emotional. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we've any visible scars. Like Eamon has, like Eamon was scared for life a couple of times, but it wasn't because of us. <laughs> like he's just, like literally, I was in my friend's backyard with Eamon and Dara and. Uh, we were just digging a hole and the next thing Amy just goes ah, turn around blood everywhere no one knows what happened like I reckon Dara threw something over his shoulder and it just cut him like a rusty piece of something but literally just like had to get stitches all down the side Jeez. of his face yeah it, and no one knows what happened and in the episode of Sharif did you talk about somebody breaking somebody else's arm or um, something yeah I wrote down his arm <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean we were playing football and uh, he was in goals and he was kind of just you like like you know kids are just swinging their arms and stuff like not really paying attention and he was in goals and I took a shot and in fairness to him he saved it right but he just like put his hand towards the ball and just went <laughs> broke his wrist <laughs> yeah and Ouch. oh the wrist break is a bad one now that's yeah. the one I had and like no one believed me we were like you'd be grand Donald Donald you'd be grand and he was just like no guys this is really sore and we went out for a meal that <laughs> night and he's just like <laughs> eating his food he's like it's still really sore and then the next day my mum brought him to the hospital so he slept on it and all that's mad I remember you saying that in the episode and I was like how could he like it was so painful when I did it I, yeah. like, I don't know how you could live with that for even but we just like because people got hurt all the time like he's just like okay this is a serious one that's not a serious one but we got it wrong that time and do you do you have any sisters? No sisters, no. I was thinking, yes. Yeah, no, so four lads. Four lads, and Jesus. Two adults. Your poor mother. <laughs> I know, yeah, that's how good he says. I think mum, like, our mum just kind of gave up on <laughs> life a long time ago. <laughs> no, but she just, like, it just was like, okay, I'm going to end up in a, you know, in an asylum if I don't just let all this just wash over me. Like, you know that meme with the dog and he's sitting there in the whole place and he's just like, <laughs> This is fine. Yeah. That was, I think that was my mum's outlook. Yeah, she's just like, right, whatever, I'm checked out. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Um, I pushed Neil off a couch as well. We were, uh, we used to have this game called Chasing on the Couch. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. And honestly, so you'd run across the top of the couch, <laughs> and, uh, and it wasn't a big couch, like, it was definitely smaller than these two beanbags. You'd run across the wall on the top of the couch and run down the other. And we used to play this when my cousins came over, right? So <laughs> it was on this side like, so it was seven it? playing chasing on the couch. <laughs> Just kids banging into each other and going, Ugh! so I think we were playing chasing on the couch and then we took a break and they were standing on the arm of the chair. We were playing jumps and jumping off at then and I was like, go will you? And he was like, give me a second. So I was like, Ugh! and he literally <laughs> broke his collarbone like. Yeah, yeah. Oh and he was like, ah! I was like, he's faking. <laughs> and my mum was like, he's not, he's really hurt. I was like, ah, he's faking his crap. Yeah. Oh, I'd say when you hurt them, you're like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get and, them and in was trouble. Like, shh, 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 sorry, don't tell Anna. Don't tell Anna. <laughs> Another time we were playing this game called uh, a Throne. <laughs> for so original. <laughs> Chasing on the couch. Jumps the throne. Okay, I'll tell you about one after this, but we, we had this thing of paint we were doing up the house, like, just got the carpet down, and I was like, I found this little thing of glass paint, and me and my elder brother were throwing it to each other, 
and he threw it to me I caught it dropped it <laughs> so we glass all over the carpet which was there for years like because oh, they couldn't afford to buy another carpet like, so it was just glass paint everywhere and then of course who did that it was we here we can we can we can we can try to explain yeah oh room the house what colour were the carpets I was now it was a gank carpet in fairness I did them a favour I think it was like a, <laughs> you know those like brown patterns with the oh yeah. like 70s carpets he was playing another game called Fighting in the Garden. Fighting in the Garden. You're so literal Not with in the your car. I know, yeah. Like, what we call this game, Fighting in the Dark, it was called. <laughs> so you turn no off the one, lights. Was yeah, you turn off the lights in the sitting room. <laughs> and just go around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like Lisa and Bert. Yeah, I'm just doing like, this. Yeah. You get it my way. And you just hear. <laughs> and then boom on the ground. And then the lights would have to go on because someone was dead. Like. <laughs> I played Murder in the Dark. Yeah. But like that's a totally different game. It is, yeah. It sounds more violent, but I don't think it was more than. No, it's just like someone pretends to be dead and you have to figure out who did it. But like it's more of a tap, you're dead, yeah. and then you have to figure out who did it when you turn the lights back on. Yours is much more literal. <laughs> just playing each other in the dark. Fighting like. in the dark, oh, that's good. Yeah. I say so. You you called your mum Anna. Yeah, it's a way when we call our parents by their first name. Yeah, always. I mean, all the brothers started that, and we just said, okay, that's Anna and George now. <laughs> And your parents didn't care. No, they just say cost whatever you want. Did you it. ever go on a family holiday? Because it sounds like it would, would have been mental. Yeah, we look, every year we went down to Kerry for seven years, every single year I to do the like same Kerry years. Now. I love Kerry. I mean, great crack down there, and yeah, to, like we used to go down with my cousins as well. It was great crack, and then like you know we'd all bring friends as well. So to be, and we actually still do that. We're going there this summer. People. Yeah, yeah. loads of sitting around good. different houses on the area. But one day thought we were messing in the front garden before we went down. Dawn was about six and uh, piled into the car and we got as far as Limerick and we were stopping off for food, right? And Donald goes, ah, my shoes! And looked down. <laughs> he was he was his bare feet there. He left them in the front car and I like, just piled into the car. I got down to try Limerick before I realised it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. And another time I chased dog shit all over the car before we were going in the pot. It just, like, it was like I washed in it and then just got into the car and rolled away. It was just everywhere, like, <laughs> stank out the whole car. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, say, I'd say clean cars and possibly clean houses is just something my mum was like fuck it never, I don't care never the house is still destroyed <laughs> and uh, you, I met your two pets there the other day when I was over recording Sharoof don't yep. forget to check out the episode Sharoof um, but did you have a dog before that? we did we had the best dog ever before we had loads of pets like at one stage like, the, the house sounds mad enough at one stage we had nine pets like we nine pets? yeah yeah we like two cats two dogs two guinea pigs a bunny rabbit fish like everything at the same time oh, okay it was, yeah it was mad yeah it wasn't nine cats and dogs it was slightly more manageable yeah ish guinea pigs or bunny rabbits which would prefer yeah our bunny rabbit was a dope I hated him he just used to bite me the whole time he couldn't pet him around he was just wild he killed the pigeon and all <laughs> what and then, yeah he was like he was vicious so the guinea pigs like definitely yeah, and the dog. Yeah. You had the dog before the dog you have now. Yes, we had a dog called Mikey. This is the dog whose uh, face swelled, swelled up. up yeah. So he was jet black, and he was crossed between a collie and a Labrador. And he had this big grey beard. He looked like Merlin from the Sword and Stone. He had like this big, bushy grey beard, and he was just such a gentleman of a dog. Like he was just so sound. Like if he didn't want to walk, he'd just lie on the floor in the park. Like he'd be like, "Okay, let's go home." He was like, "Yeah," and he was so nervous. Like he'd fart and get a fright and run out of the room. Like do you know what I'm sorry. But he was class, he was so much fun, he's an awesome dog. And he actually, it was very sad he died in my arms. Nah. Yeah, on the top of the stairs, couldn't breed. But he was like 17 or something as well. So it was like a natural, like, because yeah. the dog before the dog we have now, we had to get her put down. But like, it would have gone that way, but it was just the kind of thing, he was just yeah, put yeah. down at one point. No, he was actually, he was in good health, but then just one night he just, his stomach turned and he just couldn't nah. breed and stuff. Ah, poor doggy. What age were you at that point? I was I don't know if I was like 19 yeah it was, well that's like obviously it doesn't get any easier but Jesus that would have been tough if you were a kid yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah so it was tough on Donald Donald was only 13 mm. and he loved the duck we all loved the duck the photos of him in your house are so cute he's just Donald's just you can't picture him now because he's like he's tall big hairy guy like but when he's a kid he was just like bright eyes and big chubby cheeks on him like <laughs> He's, and he was always messing like because my older brother grew up and you didn't really have video cameras or anything like that <laughs> but I had this little like 
8 megapixel video camera tiny little yoke and Donald loved that and was always doing videos with it and messing with it like which is great because I still have all of them now it's like okay I'm going to keep them yeah I was going <clears> to <throat> ask you tell us about the one where he's rapping in the Sharoof episode that one was so rap- good Linkin Park was yeah it? that yeah. was it I, I'd love to like there's so many of them like he did it with like Daft Punk Linkin Park just used to mind them all like, and, it's uh, like it's like it's like a music lead from 2006 it's gas and he's wearing these cool shades that are like this like this silver and it, it's actually when you watch the full video it's gas like because he's just messing with loads of things like and he's like it's part of the way you were mocking me and he'd like pick up a vase and be like what's this and like throw it away like then pick up a DVD <laughs> like it's just in keys and all like it's, it's actually really funny but he did loads of them he just take an idea like this 10 year old young was just like I think I'm going to dance to Daft Punk right now and he just put on the camera and just say one more time and he come in and just start giving it loads like I can see why he'd be into Daft Punk because he's actually in a tribute band to that's Daft right, Punk now yeah, isn't yeah. he um, but I, I didn't expect him to like Linkin Park I, I love Linkin Park you see. did you yeah and don't kind of look up to me anything I did Don did as well <laughs> were they the ones that had the song Sausage it was Sausage Roll or something was their album <laughs> <laughs> that took man right that's the draw. Yeah, there were. The another like, song called Yogurt like, Slingers was yeah, deadly. I think I might be thinking of Centra. <laughs> the Centra. pub or the shop, Centra. Yeah. <laughs> that's the draw. Didn't they have a burger called the Big Mac <laughs> or something? Uh, no, Lincoln Park. I don't. Well, maybe they did have a song called Starfish. Centra, Starfish. I don't know where you got the sausage roll. I know it, what you're thinking that's of. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, Limp Biscuit. you're thinking of. Am I? With Fred Durst. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah I was confusing the two. <laughs> we're Limp Biscuit. Was... we're playing sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, we're going to live this down. <laughs> that's such a man thing to say right there. That's my man thing. Like. I'm getting there. I'm getting old. That's what's happening. Yeah. Turning into an Irish mammy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other stories to finish this out from the boys? Any other stories? <clears throat> I am trying to think. There's definitely loads involved in Donald. It uh, probably is just other little ones. Poor fella, he bought a snowboard, right, in Little, saved up all his money for the snowboard, and it hadn't snowed in Ireland for about 15 years, right? <laughs> And it was sitting in the garage brand new and he was just eyeing it up for years wanting to try out the snowboard. And I was in London at, at the time for the year, right? And uh, it started snowing and Donald got super excited, right? And my friend Donald around me was just like, how are you, pal? You know that snowboard you have? Any chance I could borrow it? I was like, yeah, yeah, take it out for the day. No problem. You know, tell tell me dad that I sent you. Like. And Donald kept it for a week, right? And just used it when the snow was there. And then the snow melted and Don still never got a chance to use his own snowboard. And he was like ringing me from London going, where's Don with my snowboard? Oh, I was like, rage. I don't know. And I was like, Don, get our job. Don, give it back to me. He was like, oh yeah, sorry, you must drop it down to him. And then he came back and the snow was gone. <laughs> so it's still sitting in the garage and Don never used it. I have, I am the same. I but mine's a bodyboard. I still have a bodyboard in the years. Oh, like for waves? Like a, yeah, four years ago. Class. I just never used. They're awesome though. They're good fun, yeah. There's yeah. only cheap ones, so I don't really care. But yeah. So I also have a go. guitar. You have a guitar? Had a guitar, yeah. I don't know what happened to it. But I had it for years and never learned how to play it. An acoustic? Yeah. You should play it. There's awesome. loads of things you got when you were a kid. Like I did loads of things. I tried Irish dancing at one point. Didn't yeah. like that. Tried. I did Karate, try some. Unicycling, like everything you, you tried just tried. everything, did yeah. you? Well, you yeah, didn't okay. try unicycling. No, I didn't really know. But it's just one <laughs> of those things you have in your shed, like. I breathe fire. I guess you did uh, karate. Is very good. Did you just say you breathe fire? Yeah, me and my uh, my friend there. Just I just saw this this thing online. It was like a fire stick, and I've been to Thailand and saw how to do. It. I was like, I'm definitely gonna learn that. That's awesome. And my friend there is great because he just he'd be like, okay, that's that's what we're doing now for the summer. Like, <laughs> so he got poi fire poi. Uh oh. No, that's a different camera. I don't know why that made that noise. Oh, huh, that's weird. Anyway, so he was like, okay, I'll get poi and you get a fire stick, and then we watched this video on how to breathe fire, and we were like practicing it. Cool. And you can do it. Yeah, anyone can do it. What age were you when you learned how to do that? <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not quite a judge on the right. No, no, but it's still a good one. Fucking hell. Yeah, there you go. You should do like a Sharu fire beat, and maybe you can't. Not in studio, should... Jesus. No, not in your studio. Roof is going flames, like. Yeah. I was saying it. We're not really sure how to work it into an episode, though. <laughs> Just casually. And now here's <laughs> yeah, John yeah. fire breathing. <laughs> Okay, back to the studio. It's like such a waste of talent to have though, not use it. Yeah, I don't know how you'd... Yeah, so I might just do it. I might just literally do that. Just, just like, get Donald to be a guinea pig and yeah. <laughs> fire breathe at him instead of a fire. <laughs> you do it as well. Donald's great for that. Oh, poor Donald. I'm sorry. 
if we've shared too much of your <laughs> kitty stories. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on the Storytime Podcast. Thank you so much for listening to all my rubbish and stories. check out the sh- three, four or five of the Sharpsons on the YouTube Facts channel and maybe one day we'll have the full compliment. Uh, yeah, um, maybe. The links will be down in the description in the show notes on SoundCloud and check out Sharoof. John's mm-hmm. new children's YouTube series with a few jokes in there for the adults. There you go. Um, and I was on an episode, and a couple other facts people were on the episode. And you were class so in the episode when you say so. You were brilliant. Like two we that. played a game where it was like, Clissair, did you say this in all your videos? And you, you were like, I don't remember saying that. I definitely said that. I can't even remember what I said yesterday. I got hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. There was only million. one where you got me, um, and I won't ruin it. But yeah, there was one where I was almost caught, but I didn't. I went, no, I actually uh, last minute I went, no, I didn't say it. Yeah, and I was right. I was like, uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, anything else? Have you Thanks. remembered your Twitter handle? <laughs> Uh, I think it's Sharpie 077 because Donald isn't actually on Twitter there is a Donald Sharpson on Twitter but it's not him it's, it's not yeah. I probably follow him Yeah, I'm, I'm following him as well I was like how come you didn't like that thing I sent you and he was like what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not him I was like I thought we were friends <laughs> so yeah check out John and check out Facts Channel and check out Donald as well I'll also put Donald's links down in the description because poor Donald's got a hammer in this yeah, yeah. podcast <laughs> and uh, yeah subscribe to this channel for more story time we're on iTunes and SoundCloud and Stitcher as well for, on all the places you get your podcasts and uh, last but not least check out the Patreon link is down in the description and thank you to Patre- Patron Rick for sending these amazing thing and making this studio look pretty sweet it looks awesome it actually looks awesome alright see you next week bye